what's up guys welcome back to the channel and I know this is a part 3 video of this motherboard here the H81 MV3 and last video you saw me try to flash the BIOS and while we did successfully flash the BIOS motherboard still isn't working and I was about ready to toss this out honestly uh, there's not much else I can really do to it but there was one thing that I could try and that is the good old-fashioned bake it in the oven method and I know a lot of people look down on that but you know this is really just for my learning entertainment and honestly I want to see if, uh, if it maybe there's some solder somewhere that needs to be reballed so the idea behind baking the motherboard is you heat it up to a temperature where the solder will start to uh, to, to melt basically and it's not enough to to cause it to run everywhere although that is very possible if you don't have this even but it is it is enough to uh, get it to if there's a broken solder joint or something like that it's enough to get it to solidify again and keep the you know components connected properly and so that's what we're gonna try the first thing we gotta do is tear this down and get it ready for the oven so most of this is pretty simple. We're going to pull our jumper off. That is a story in and of itself. Got to pull out all our RAM. So all real simple stuff. And we got to take the heat sink off. Come in. And oh, I absolutely hate these heat sinks. There's our heat sink. Time to pull out our CPU. Okay, we're just gonna check the pins, make sure they're good. It looks like they are. Cool. And we'll put the CPU on the box over here. We're gonna take out our battery. So There we go. And that was actually one of the first things I checked was to make sure the CMOS battery is good. It, it's perfectly fine. All right. And the last little bit. All right, we gotta take this heat sink off. Now what I'm gonna do actually is use these. Cause if you look, flip it over here, uh, they got these little called squeeze tab things you got to be very very gentle because you don't want to scratch up the PCB all right I'm gonna use our tiny screwdriver to try to get this there we go There we go. Cool. All right, so now it is just a matter of gently raising this heat sink. There we go. All right, so it looks like it uses a thermal pad to actually 
make connection on that. So that's good to know. That means we don't have to put any more like thermal paste on there. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, all we have to do now is set the oven temperature. And I'm gonna set mine to about 120 degrees. Everyone I've seen on the internet suggests that being a good starting point. And we're gonna see from there. All right guys, so I've got the motherboard in the oven. As you guys can see, I've got some uh, aluminum foil balls there. And basically what those are gonna do is keep the motherboard you know, somewhat like level basically because these pans like I don't know about others but this particular one has like one of those little dimples in it that causes it to kind of not be flat so I put it in there just kind of eyed it a little bit it's not quite even I don't think but I don't think it's too bad I'm trying to I'm trying to just kind of look and so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put it in for about 10 minutes at 120 degrees Celsius, I should add, which is close to as low as this oven will go. Right there. And this, uh, this knob is not very good. There we go, 10 minutes. And we'll see what happens. All right, guys, so I just pulled the motherboard out of the oven and we're basically just going to let it cool at uh, room temperature and we will basically then plug everything back in just to check make sure everything works. You know, honestly, don't have too much ex uh, expectations for this because I did mess with the BIOS already and even if, even though we did flash it and it did flash successfully, you know, I've already done some stuff to this board. But, you know, if we can get it to do more than just spin fans, that'd be pretty cool. Like, maybe possibly make the speaker I bought actually beep. Anyway, so, just a heads up. Open up your windows and any kind of screen door and have a fan. Luckily, the apartment I am staying at has a living area that is two sides windows. And the kitchen area, which is connected to the living area has a screen door. So I opened up all those and I turned on a fan and also the exhaust vent for the stove. And so just to help keep the smells down because it does get very smelly when you uh, do this. Anyway guys, uh, we're gonna wait here, let this cool down for about 20 minutes and then we'll plug everything back in. All right guys, so we got our motherboard out, it's nice and cool, so it's time to start putting things back together. And, See how our motherboard did. So it doesn't look like anything is bad. Everything looks like it's in the correct spots. So let's start off with our little heat sink here. Get that put back on our chip. Okay, there's one. There we go, there's two. Both of them back in making sure our uh, chipset is cool. And, all right, let's go with our driver here. Apologize if it's a little noisy. I have the windows open still just to make sure the all the smell gets out. Also lit a candle, so, <laughs> you know. To kind of help mask some of the scent. Okay, so I'm already plugging this stuff in right here. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. The power supply is still unplugged. In fact, my helper here, I don't know if you saw that or not, but my Gojulus Giga is actually holding on to the cable for me. Uh, did that more of a joke as a joke than anything. All right, so for the memory, we're only going to use one stick at a time. Let's see here. I believe it's this one first. Okay. CPU. 
There she is. Make sure it's keyed properly. Okay, looks like she's good. Uh, so best practice is actually to use fresh thermal compound. I'm not going to bother right now because we're just doing this as a test. And so we're just going to leave it be. If the motherboard does end up working, I'm, we'll, I will definitely put some fresh paste on. But as long as it's not, I'm not going to bother because, like, frankly... If it's not working, then it's time to call it quits and get rid of the board. All right, where did our battery go? There it is. Okay, everything except for that. Okay, okay so everything's plugged in. We just need to plug in our H or not HDMI or. VGA cable. Okay, VGA cable is installed. And it's time to plug in our power supply. All right, before you actually turn it on, I'm going to go ahead and swap over to the DVI mode or HDMI on the mother oh, motherboard. Dang it. All my words are mixed up. On my monitor. And we're going to see if we get anything at all. All right, so motherboard is still alive. There we go. All right, so motherboard is still going. Let's see if we get a signal. All right, so got our monitor hooked up over here. I'm going to turn the computer back on. And fans are booting up, cool. Still nothing from our speaker here. Nothing waking up the computer, or I mean the monitor. All right, we're going to pause here. All right, try it again. Mouse isn't lighting up. The monitor isn't either. So I would say that our baking in the oven did not work and could be. So I could have put it into low of a temperature. Some people were saying anywhere between 120 degrees and 150 degrees Celsius. And so we could possibly need to cook it in a slightly higher temperature and in fact I think that's what I'm going to do. All 
All right, guys, so something exciting just happened, and I'm about to show you guys if if it will work again. Um, I didn't get a signal, but I did. I don't know if you heard that. Come on, do it again. But yeah, okay, so the speaker beeped. It actually beeped. Um, I'm going to look up what one beep means. But it might mean that we've gotten this uh, possibly fixed. Or at the very least, we got sound. That's That to me is exciting. Like, honestly, this thing was showing no life at all. And now I've got a speaker that's actually beeping at me. Never thought I'd want to hear a beep in my life. All right, guys, we're going to pause here, and I'm going to see if uh, it will light up a keyboard. All right, so got everything plugged in. There's the beep. Oh, 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 keyboard just lit up. Keyboard just lit up. <laughs> we fixed it. Holy crap. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so excited, but holy crap, it worked. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I actually did it. Oh boy, dude, that is, I'm excited. I, I, I'm, I, <laughs> I am so sorry, guys, that I am, dude, I'm just ecstatic. So here's our BIOS that we flashed, the SR123. So I thought that I had actually broke the BIOS because it didn't show that it was, it was just giving me a whole bunch of FF codes. But no, no, there's the BIOS that we installed. Holy crap. So everything I did actually helped bring this back to life. I I am, holy crap. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I, I, again, I'm so sorry that this is probably loud. Um, this is the first time I've ever been able to bring a motherboard back to life. Like, ever. I've never been able to do this before. before. I, I, I'm, 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 I'm so excited. Now, just to calm down a little bit, this doesn't mean the board is something I can go ahead and flip and give to somebody else. And the reason for that being is because I had to bake it, this could be just a temporary fix. So it might work for a day. It might work for a month. It could work for another 10 years. But because I had to bake it, there's no guarantee that this board will continue to function. So, even though I got it working again, it's kind of a bittersweet thing. Um, I, again, I'm just so ecstatic that we were able to get it. So, you know what? We are going to, all right, how do I enter, 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 nope, nope, how do I, edit the settings uh, BIOS flash select screen select item s enter change okay here we go so it is what is it April so four enter and the date is 27 Enter 2020. So for some reason it doesn't let me go up. So oh here it goes. Oh. 2022. Wednesday April 27th, 2022. And we are going to F10 that. Yes. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I'm so excited that this worked. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time.